We're t it's time for stretch time. Are you ready? All right, so we're going to do uh, mermaid with rotation for one of our first relaxing stretches that we have for you today. One spring on, foot bar to the top or in the middle. Yep, we're going to do ours in the middle. But you can go all the way up top if you want. And we have mermaid legs, so the shins are up against the shoulder rest, just like mermaid we did in level two, but we're going to add a little bit of a rotation, and that'll get a little bit more stretch in your thoracic spine and your shoulders. Okay? So left hand is on the foot, foot bar. Bring that right arm out and up side, and you're going to side bend over as you press out. Good. And then you're going to wrap around. Right hand goes to the foot bar, left hand opens. So as you're here, you're trying to reach that hip down and back just like you did. And bend the elbows three times. And go for it. One. Right shoulder down a little more. Two. Oh, that feels delicious. Three. Keep your arms straight. Now you're going to glide your shoulders down, reach your head out, and come up into a full extension. Then you're going to nod that chin and body wave through. Good. Bring your left hand back to the right and turn side. Come on up. Bring the carriage to rest. Grab your silver post and then do a nice stretch side. Awesome. Let's do it again. Left hand down, right arm up and go side. Wrap around. Right hand down, left hand opens and gorgeous. Bend those elbows. A three a two, a one. Keep those arms straight, reach the head out and up. Nod that chin and roll back through. Back hand to the front, turn side. Good, come up, grab your silver post and give yourself a little pull. Good, one more on this side. Left hand down, right arm up. And we stretch side. Wrap around, right hand down, left hand opens. Three bends, here we go. And a three, and a two, and a one. Keep those arms straight, reach out, come up to extension. Gorgeous, nod the chin, roll it back through. Back hand to the front, turn it side. Come on up and stretch side. <sighs> okay, let's do the other side. Fancy dance transition. Excellent. Right hand is forward, left arm is reaching out, and lift and side bend. Wrap around. Left hand down, right hand opens. Bend it in. Inhale, exhale, press it out. One and two, and three. Keep those arms straight, reach out, open the chest, nod the chin, body wave through, back hand to the front, turn side. Good, come up, grab the shin, or the shoulder rest and stretch. And again, come on up, right hand down, lift and go side. Wrap around, open the arm out, and inhale, exhale, three, and two, and one. Good, shoulders down, come up, nod the chin, dive it back through, back hand to the front, turn side, come on up, and bring it down and stretch. Last one, here we go. Right hand down, left arm goes up as we stretch side. Wrap around, open it out. Three bends, inhale, exhale, three, and two, and one. Good, reach out, come up to full extension, and go back down. Nice big rounded spine, turn side. Good, come up and grab the sh uh, shoulder rest and stretch. All right. Whew. All right, are you ready for some single thigh stretch? All right, so we're gonna do it with this uh, 
straps today. So we'll take, and we're going to use a box. We're using this because we're on an elevated reformer. If you have a normal size reformer, you can just go down onto the floor. But we're using a elevated one that you can use for people who have a hard time bending down. And good, we're gonna use the box and then you're gonna put a gripper on to make sure you don't go sliding. And how many springs are we using? We're, I think we should use a maybe quarter or half. We could try one, but we'll do quarter or half. And then if we need to change as we get going, let us know. So you're gonna bring one foot onto the gripper. So this is single thigh stretch with a strap. And then you're gonna grab the strap with the hand uh, on the inside. For this piece of equipment, we can hold onto the silver post or we can hold onto the foot bar. Good, we're gonna reach our arm up to the sky and we can fold forward a little bit. And then we can come back and then arch up a little bit. And we feel a stretch in the front of your left thigh. Good. And again, fold it forward. You can also have this hand keep it down at your knee, whatever you need for balance. And then you're going to arch back and slide forward a little bit. And again, fold forward. And then you can press the right leg back a little bit. Good. And then go ahead and arch up. And now you'll get a big old stretch across the front. Good. Rest. Come out of bed. All righty. Put that strap down. And we get to flip it to the other side. You got it? All right. She's strong. She can do level three reformer. All right. Again, gripper, wherever you want to be. And you can gauge this to your body. You can bring the box more forward or back. You can put the gripper wherever you need. And all you got the strap. So you grab the strap into your inside hand. Bring it up to the sky. Press back with the leg. And you're going to fold forward a little bit. Press the carriage back. And then you're going to pull the carriage in a little bit. And then arch up to the sky as the strap pulls you back with your chest. And again. Fold forward a little bit. And arch back. Good. And one more time. Fold forward a little bit. And arch it back. Nice. Good. Excellent. And come out of it. Bring that carriage in and put the strap down. Awesome. We've made it, darling. How do you feel? She feels delicious. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Go ahead and visit us online at www.upsidedownpilates.com. You can check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Upside Down Dance and Pilates. We are also on YouTube. All of our past episodes are there. So you can go to www.upside, or I'm sorry, youtube.com slash Upside Down Pilates. We have an Instagram account. We have a phone number. I can't, is there anything we're missing? Probably something. Find us there. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Aloha.